This object has several modifiers in its stack. A bevel modifier, a displace mod, a solidify mod, a weld mod, and an array using a constant offset instead of relative. It also happens to be scaled down a lot. If you now were to use Blender to apply the scale via Control plus A, things will go haywire because none of the modifier values are compensated. The bevel overshoots, the displace is way too strong, as is the solidify. The weld mod now merges verts it didn't before, and the array offset is also way too big now, so let's undo that. Machine Tools offers an applied transformations tool of its own, but it previously only dealt with bevel modifiers when applying the scale. Now it supports all the other mods you can see in this stack here too. This way you can apply the scale without affecting the results of the mod stack. I'm just repeatedly undoing and applying the scale again now, so you can see how the respective modifier values are adjusted every time for each mod. Also, the tool is now exposed in the native Control A Apply menu, with direct buttons for rotation, scale, or both. For linear arrays, when you apply rotation, the offset vector is also compensated accordingly. You can see the rotation and scale have been applied, and the offset direction has been changed in a way that results in no visible change in the 3D view. Furthermore, if you apply a transformation at the same time to multiple objects within the same hierarchy, it's now done properly from top to bottom, which means everything ends up with a scale of 1 or a rotation of 0 as expected. Finally, while decal backups have been compensated before already, it's now also done for mesh machine stashes. They can then be retrieved in exactly the same relative location with the same relative scale and orientation as they've been in when the stash was originally created.